All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Hey, we the real Hebrew Israelites. We come in week in, week out to prophesy the downfall and destruction of America. First and foremost, we let to give our praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakadash, which is to say our praise to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, as well as the Holy Spirit. The proper name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists, He to be, by His end, Ha is thus, Shalom is name. Yahweh Shai is He saves and He delivers. Rakai Spirit, Kadash Holy, giving double honors to the apostles and the elders. Of great millstone who rule well the true leaders of all israel on earth today whether you can receive it or not much love salutations to the akim scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth pushing his word in sincerity and in truth risking their lives and freedom to do so all right so you say shalom as well as to the very few select sisters who take heed to our lessons all right and uh you know we was just gathered together in the spirit i'm the brother i with the brother i'm yardy shalom yeah, we gather together in the spirit of power yahweh by shimmy i was and just wanted to speak on you know the wickedness of our people you know, um, the nation of Israel, that is, all right? You know, you only got a small remnant that's actually turned to and are following after the ways of Yahweh Shem Shah, you know, following after righteousness, man. So, therefore, the rest of our people, all right, two-thirds, that is, which we're going to get into it in just a moment, you know, they're, they're going to be slated for destruction because they refuse to repent, all right? They mock and misuse the prophets of the Lord, okay? Hell, uh, uh, even go as far as, uh, as offending them. You see? And so for these things, man, there is going to be a judgment. And the scripture speaks about how judgment must begin first with the house of Israel. All right? So this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13. And I'm going to start at 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Okay? And there's two parts. And a fraction, okay, is, uh, again, two-thirds. But a percentile of 100 is... 66.6 percent it says they're going to be cut off and die so that's a larger percentage that's not going to make it than the one-third that is going to make it it says but the third shall be left therein and that'll be considering of the elect all right when you read revelation the seventh chapter and it goes into it you know literally from the top on down okay uh to like verse nine all right that'll be who the elect consists of the 144,000 prophets, which are all men, and the innumerable multitude, okay? And it goes on to say, yeah, that the third shall be left therein, verse 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. And this third part is talking about the elect whom we hope to be a part of, okay? He said he will bring them through the fire, going through fiery trials, tribulations, hardships, affliction, okay? Um, we're being corrected in measure, as the scriptures say. He said, and will refine them. Can you look that definition up, Baba Kosha, or refine? Because I believe that also going to like correcting and in a sense um, dealing with fire, like purging, you know. Mm -hmm. I believe that's a better word, purifying, okay. The Heavenly Father is purging us by, by putting yeah. us through different hardships and tribulations. What scripture is that? Uh, Zechariah 13 and 9. Um, you want the word refined? Yeah, just to see what it said. I really was thinking any definition, it you know, but it's the spirit you got the blue letter. But yeah, it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver Sirop. is refined. Sirop. Okay. 86884. It's lucky. It's all good. Strong's age, 6884. Tsaref. Tsaref. Mm hmm. Right, and it says, so strong's info. It says, refined founder, goldsmith, melt, pure, purge away. Mm hmm. Just so like you is. said, that's the mm -hmm. scriptures. Uh, well, the Heavenly Father's going to purge. It's a, it's a balance. He's yeah. going to purge the elect. Yeah. He also is going to purge. Uh, 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 two thirds. They mm -hmm. gonna have to go through a physical fire. Right. The elect, Lord willing, will part of that. We gonna go through a spiritual fire. Mm -hmm. you no know, tribulation, like the things Paul went through. The brother just sent the message about Alexander the Coppersmith did him much evil. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it said Corinthians 11 chapter. So the heavenly fathers, yeah, like he said, purge away. So the Lord is gonna purge away two thirds of our people's sin by that thermonuclear destruction. That's it. Cause that's how they gonna be uh, cut off, like yep. the brother going into. Yep. You know, like that precept you're reading, but uh, it says that's the point, really. Yep. The it says purge. to purge away. Yeah, to to to, to, to try. That was a beautiful to try. point. 
Yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's like that was a beautiful point of uh, that you said how on both sides of the, mm -hmm. of the spectrum, mm -hmm. the heavenly Father is purging away iniquity and wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. You see, because we was once transgressors too, you know, dead in our trespasses and sins, as the scriptures say. But what 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 happened? First Peter two and nine, you know, yeah, you know, call out of darkness. He called us out of darkness into His marvelous light. You mm -hmm. see, we must shoot forth the praise of Him who did it. You know, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. So. Yeah, man, the Heavenly Father called us out of that, okay, and 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 has been correcting us in measure since whatever your respective time was that you you know woke up to this truth, man. But like the brother also mentioned, two thirds of our people that's not going to be, you know, corrected, then they're going to be judged by fire and purged. All of that wickedness is going to go away because they're going to be reborn in the kingdom. Right, because the word refined also means pure. So that's how you, they're going to be purified since they don't want to go through the spiritual purification. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to go through the physical one. Right. Because that's the spirit. You can, you can physically purify something or you can spiritually purify something, obviously. Mm -hmm. the, the, by the washing of the words. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The laying of the hand of the Presbyterian, like the scriptures say, but in particular by the washing of the words. Because you can purify, you know what I'm saying? You How do you purify things? You clean it. Because fire is a cleaning agent. Right. So it's water. Right. That's why the script said washing out of the water, you know, uh, the, 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 this this word, mm -hmm. you know. Can so, you imagine if you got silver? Because I've had, we had silver over the years. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That uh, over time it might get a little dirty or so. Tarnish. Dross, if yeah. you will. Yeah, yeah tarnish. Yeah, dross, yeah. Okay. And all it takes is for you to, you know, dip it in fire. Like a nice, the right temperature. Yeah. And it'll clean all of that up, man. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's the comparison. In which the Lord is given, as it says back in verse 9, Zechariah 13 and 9, it says, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. Yeah, the third part is just talking about the elect. So that's how the heavenly father go purify us through a, through a test. The brother just, situation just happened. Yep. Some niggas just, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, broke, in the bro uh, broke in the brother car, man. Mm -hmm. So that's a part of that, uh, that, 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 that spiritual fire, man. That's right. Suffering loss, you yep. know what I'm saying? Go to, you know, prison. Yep. Like I like I spoke about Paul early. He a prime example of the heavenly Father purifying him through the fire, bro. Mm -hmm. the Lord took him through all types of stuff. He took, he made him blind. You know what I'm saying? His own people was coming against him, right? Motherfuckers made a pact to kill him. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was thrown in prison. Right. You know. That's right. So, yep. That, that, that that's that 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 fire. That the Lord gonna bring the third part through, like He says, a spiritual fire, right? The Lord said that uh, in Jeremiah, what is the fifth chapter, or I think it's the second chapter, could be wrong. I think it's the fifth chapter where He told me He gonna put His words. In our matter of fact, Salaki. Uh, and what parts? Nah, it's Jeremiah five and fourteen. You know, He make His word a flame or something like that. I got you. If I'm not yeah, mistaken. burning within Him. Yeah, Salaki. This is a. Uh, Jeremiah 5, 14, wherefore thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Shemar, Shav, host, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire as his people would, and it shall devour them. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's that, that's going into two-thirds, too. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Come on, come on. That's right, brother. That's, that's right. So, but I was just speaking about the the spiritual fire, cause the Lord ain't gonna put a literal fire in the mouth of, of his prophets. Right. When he's speaking with with Jeremiah right here. Right. So just using that as an example, man. You know, this word, this word is fire. It is. You know. That's right. That's and it's right. a it's a it's a purified uh, agent. The Lord said that in the book of Isaiah, "Come now and let us reason together. Mm -hmm. Though your sins be red." Here you go. Yep. And when you read down, it says he gonna purge away all thy dross. Yeah. You know, and purge means to purify or to to to, to, to you know to, to make pure. Yeah, because in the kingdom ain't gonna be all this wickedness going on as you see on the planet Earth. You know, the scriptures speak about in the Lord's prayer of uh as in heaven, so upon earth. You yeah. know, as it's perfect righteous order in the kingdom of heaven, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and so it's gonna be the same even here on the planet Earth, man. You see, and that's ultimately what we're laboring for because who want to keep living a life like this? You know what I'm saying? You're in perils of robbers. You know, you got to suffer a uh, shipwreck. You know, uh, just name the things that Paul went through. Right, possibly, uh, you know. Beaten. Yeah. You know, he was beaten with rods. It said, you know, his own people came up against him. Like right now, you got, you know what I'm saying? 
You always got little groups of little young men, you know what I'm saying, out at different times of the night. And who God knows what they up to, man. Well, you we know? know. Yeah, we yeah, know. Because if you're not up to this, then you up to some mischief. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. You, if you ain't in this, this word, man. But I had one for you, too, to go with it. this. You got it. What you're going into with my Solomon. Um, three. And I'm going to get to the point just... Uh, because this referring to the elect right here, right? You know, because the brother's speaking about two thirds, and right. then it's a it's a one third, right. the, the part that the Lord gonna bring through the fire. So this wisdom of Solomon, um, three and four. It said, "For though they be punished in the sight of men, that's that fire. Yep, us being punished, the, the Lord making an example out of us. You know, hey, cause hey." Because people going to see it. The Lord going to use men to do it mm -hmm. in certain occasions. Just like he did with his own son. Motherfuckers was buffing in him. Talking about problems I to do smoke me. So mm -hmm. on and so forth, man. Mm -hmm. So uh, it said, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the heavenly father. Mm -hmm. Right? Which hands me power. So the souls of the righteous are under the power of the heavenly father. And there shall no torment touch them. Yep. Because that's the spirit I was talking to the brother earlier about the comforter. We're going to know how to process the, the situation. It may be hard at some time. We're in the flesh. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when the, the Lord is going to have the spirit working with us, man, the spirit going to be our God. But it says, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. And their departure is taken for misery. All right. So they think we're miserable, two-thirds of our people, because mm -hmm. we decided to, uh, 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 like, 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 uh, Apostle Peter said, you said, uh, they think it's strange that you run not to the same excess of right and they'll speak evil of you. Mm -hmm. So uh, they think us because we don't uh, uh, fornicate no more. We don't indulge in, in, in worldly activities no more. They think we miserable. Mm -hmm. But what the scriptures say, it says, and they're going from us utter destruction, but they are at peace. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, the, 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 the elect. We had Lord willing, we a part of that. We had peace. You want to say something? Yeah. Uh, did you finish that verse out? No, nah, it's down. Where the part where to, where to go with that one? Okay. I was gonna say that correlates with uh, Sirach two and five as well. Right. Come mm -hmm. on. Yep. You, you got it. Verse four. For though they be punished, and the oh, that's that's the spirit, Salakia. Mm -hmm. I started at four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did I jump the one on on Noily? <laughs> that's the like it. That's the spirit. Because I was talking about us being punished and yeah. the Lord used me. And how much I get buffeted, but it's all the spirit of the Lord wanted me to go up. Yep. Uh, so like you, you keep going wherever it, you It said, for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of it. Right. We're hopeful. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is the hopeful year that all the prophecies come to pass, man. So we're hopeful. It says hopeful of immortality. And when you go into the word hopeful, it's a compound word. Right. Full meaning like it's a at you add it on, mm -hmm. meaning you full of hope or you right. full of the desire of, of the heavenly Father. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, it says because we did a lesson about that, bro. The hopeful elect. That word of the year. The uh, it said verse five and having been a little chastised, that's the fire that right. the third part gonna come through because the scriptures equate it to a light affliction. Yep. So it's a little chastisement, right? You come. You got it. Yep. It says. They shall, be, they shall be greatly rewarded, right? Yep. Ultimately, we we gonna be rewarded, you know, with salvation, cause that's the that's what we're seeking for first and foremost, right? Because before we get, you know, all these other promises that the heavenly Father, we gotta make it out of here first, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, if we're part of elect, like like Yahweh said in Matthew the nineteenth chapter, he shall be. You know, over 10 cities, this and that. The, the different parables in the gospel of of Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to make you Lord of 10 cities. and You know what I'm saying? And, you know, crow with, with, with palms in our hands and a crown on our head, yeah. you know. Um, it says, for Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, proved them, right, through the fire. Because that's how you know if you got a, a, a pure uh, metal. When you take it through the fire, because other metals, the, the fire, it'll get rid of them bitches, man. Mm -hmm. Right? It says, uh, they found them worthy for himself as gold in the furnace have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. So there it is, man. He yeah. said, as gold in the fire hath he tried them. So the Lord likens 
us into gold and silver as we're reading about here. Mm -hmm. Which since I quoted it, Baba Kasha, we could get it. That's a rock two and five. Yeah. Just to add on to what you're saying. This a rock chapter two and verse let me, five. Let me finish this out real quick. Oh, I'm gonna give it to you. My bad. Zechariah 13 and 9, it says, And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. Because the brother just gave the account. It says, They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say that it is my people, and they shall say the Lord, Yahweh Bashimash is my power. Mm -hmm. So that's that reconciliation back into the Heavenly Father. And slowly but surely, you know, we're being back reconciled, made uh, friends again with uh, with our Heavenly Father, man, through our Lord Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Now you got it, Baba Kusha. I just had to pull it up. Sirach so two and five for gold is tried in the fire, yep. and it's susceptible men in the furnace of adversity. So there it is again. You know that's that purification, that fire, those hardships. And the scriptures say concerning the fiery trial or salakia, um, thinking that's strange concerning the fiery right, trial, right. which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. That's a great scripture. Right, the Lord got to prove you. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It is. All right, you you know, know, you get it. Uh, you could, yeah, yeah, Bible you could, you could bring it out real quick. You know, you're right. Yeah, the Lord got to try you. The Lord got to prove you. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And, and this is the the proving grounds. These is the things that the Lord say. Hey, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. This is the proving ground to see if we worthy of it. Cause you got to make the cut, man. You know, for the team. You got, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't just walk up. You want to join the NFL or a ball team? Like you know, like uh, FIFA. What they do? They play soccer. You know, or, or like the World Cup or, or, or basketball. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to just make the team if you ain't if you ain't at the tryouts and doing the two-a-days and showing up and putting in the work. Mm -hmm. We got to put in the work, man. And on top of putting in the work, because you brought up, well, in the chat we mentioned it. We ain't bring it out in this lesson. But in the chat you mentioned that 2 Corinthians 11. And, mm -hmm. and he said, after all yeah, of this. Besides that was coming to plumbing Besides David, that which, care of all the churches. There it is. You know, you still got to care for the church even on top of your personal affairs and matters and that's the proving grounds man because a lot of men don't make the cut they bend break and fold and we can't be of them that draw back unto perdition yeah it's like the marine corps yeah. so to speak i don't know much about their institution right. right but i know that it's a it's a rigorous course that they have to um uh, endure, uh, endure mm -hmm. and they have to finish it yeah because a lot of uh they tell you if you can't finish you gotta like get it raise your hand or do something say something yeah. and something to it and you just get cut yeah so it's like that's what this is bro the lord talk called us refer to us as soldiers the soldiers you know so you know you, you, you gotta be a soldier man i know one of the tests i'm not sure all of them but i know one of them is called buds you know, and that's that like underwater training, if I'm mistaken, dealing with the Marines and whatnot, man. It's right. a heavy, rigorous training. You know, it might be submerged. Yeah, that's why you on only end. got a small quantity of Marines, bro. Yeah. You feel me? The Army is, 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 is majority of it is made up of uh, soldiers, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like foot soldiers, infantry. Infantry. You man. know what I'm saying? Marines, them niggas are special. You know what right. I'm saying? Like uh, special ops. Like the nigga Bob, what's the nigga name? He was on the uh, Project Camelot. Um, that, that situation with the there. project looking glass is cool, but but like that nigga man, mm -hmm. you know and it's only a small like green berets for example. It's yeah. not a lot of them. Not a lot. You know what I'm saying? Right. So and that's how the heavenly father deals in regards to his precious his stones, man. He ain't picking every fucking stone no. up. No. It gotta be a proper type of stone. It gotta be a particular. Uh, uh, cause the heavenly father is particular. That's why in Exodus we were building the temple for the Lord to do this, yep. lay this, overlay it with gold. Put two wings here. Put a cherubim on this side, a cherubim on this side. Yep. Make these spoons and forks and bowls pure yep. gold. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to make the cut. You can't be like Allen Iverson. Mm -hmm. Practice. Practice. Cause that's what this right. is. You talking about practice? Right. Practice prepares you for the game. Exactly. You know? That's it. And you don't want to get, when the time comes, because the brother, the elder brother, Amawan Gabar, did a recent lesson about how the Lord is, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, molding our minds to be prepared for what's to come. Exactly, you know, bro. You know, that's what it is. If we get ready to get really tried and tested, you know, in, in some real tests, the hour of temptation, we can't bend, break, or fold. We got to resort back to, you know, these scriptures and our understanding. You see what I'm saying? To, to, to for one, keep you level-headed and stable, all right, but also for you to overcome, you see, trusting in the Lord. Yep. And so that's why we go through these, and like the brother often says, we take these many L's ultimately to get the big W, you know? 
Which these are not losses, these are lessons. You got it out. First Peter 4 12. It said, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. Mm -hmm. Right. So don't you supposed to expect this. You don't supposed to have you 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 marveling at the situation that you right. you, you, you catch in hell. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't think it's strange. Matter of fact, let me look this word. Well, I'm, I got it in NLT. And when you read the heading from the 12th verse on down, it says suffering for being a Christian. God. And we know we the real Christians. The Christ, they was called Christians first in Antioch. Yep. What is that? Uh, Acts the 19th chapter, Acts. if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we're followers of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. You know? Right. Which Chris, Christians goes back to the Latin word Christos. Which means exactly, yeah. which goes back to the Hebrew word Mashiach. Mm -hmm. That's why they refer to the Lord as you know, the you know uh, they, what they call him, the mm -hmm. C word. Yeah. Which we can say that word like the apostle was going into. We we was bringing out the precept. You don't have no other name but God out your mouth. Mm -hmm. He said, as long as we ain't giving them reverence, we no, can't we say not. the name. You feel yeah. me? So like they call the Lord, Lord Christ, man. We know brothers know what's going on. The real, the real brothers. Right. It says. um but I'm going to read in the NLT, and I'm going to get the word. And then, did you want another precept? You no, said? just the next one, and that's it. Oh, yeah, kind of. Uh, First Peter 4 and 12 in the NLT, it said, Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you are going through. Right. Yeah. So you will be, you get, what the hell we be surprised for? Right. We know this is going to happen. Right. That's why ain't going to be no surprise. We was expecting this. Because mm -hmm. that's what Esau would like to do. He like to catch you off guard. Right. Because that's what it is when you surprise somebody. You catch them off guard. Like, he comes out, surprise. Right. Caught you off guard. So that's what Esau like to do. Catch you off guard. You all flustered. You ain't got your bearings right. together. You fucked up. Well, well, well we know this is going to happen. We just waiting for it. Right. Whether it be a nigga try to bust down our house with hella guns and you know, mm -hmm. this this might traumatize your woman and your, and your children. Right. Bro. But it is going, if you got a woman and children, more than it's going to affect uh, the men, bro. Right. So, like, I'm going to keep going, brother. It says, First Peter yeah, 4 we and we anticipating it. Right. You know, like you said, like the scriptures say, if uh, if we would have known, I'm just giving an analogy of the parable. Yeah, yeah the, the strong the, man. The strong man would have oh, known. Yeah, where yeah, hour they would have brought. The thief would have come. Mm -hmm. Yep. He said he would have stayed up and watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up, mm -hmm. you know. And that's a metaphor for us really standing on our watch, but I'm just using that as an example for the statement that you're making. Right. You got it, though. It says, you are, uh, so like it says, as if something strange, I'm going to look the word strange up, God. were happening to you, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, strange. Because something strange, I, it's a spirit. I ain't even go click on it because it's coming to me now. Yep. Something strange is like something that's foreign. Right. Like a foreign, because our Lord referred to us as strangers, because he right. looked at us as foreigners, bro. So, so we don't think it ain't it ain't a foreign concept, the, 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 the fiery trial that we, it, 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 we know this. Mm -hmm. It ain't foreign to us, bro. But let's see what it say in the uh, Greek, Latin. Um, so like it's strange, the Exynos, G3581. Strong's G3581, Xenos. What does it say? Xenos. Xenos. No, the word. Foreign. <laughs> right. Yeah. Foreign. Uh, it says alien. Yeah, I was thinking that. That's mm -hmm. yep. A guest. It says, you know, so that, that's really the point, man. Yeah. It says foreigner, a stranger, alien, without the knowledge of. Mm-hmm. You know, like we all already know these. Go we already had a knowledge of these things going to happen. Because the scripture tell you, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, set, uh, prepare thy soul for temptation. Mm -hmm. And this is the part of the temptation, man. Right. So can we read it on? Yep. In verse uh, 13, you want to, I'm going to read it, KJV. Yeah. Uh, 1 Peter 4 and 13, 4, 13, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of a martial suffering. Right. Just like. Uh, 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 I'm thinking of the book of First Acts. I'm so, so like the First Acts, Acts the fifth chapter, mm -hmm. when they scores the, the disciples yep. and when they went away rejoicing yep. that they was counted worthy, you know, yep. to suffer shame for His name. And yeah. I'm gonna read it in the NLT too, bro. You got it. And we can, you know, wrap yep. it up. But said, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, because if we partakers of the sufferers, we are gonna be partakers in this blessing, bro. Right. You know, it says. That when his glory shall be revealed, <laughs> ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. joy. 
That's it. And when you exceed something, you go above and beyond. Mm -hmm. So the joy that we have on this side, bro, because we have certain instances of joy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We were brothers. Yeah. You know, the Lord bless us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We get to travel and see brothers. That's really where we get the most joy. We yeah. were brothers. Yeah. And brothers come together. But the joy that we have on this side, the joy that we're going to have when Yahweh Shah Mashiach appear to us, man, is going to exceed. That's yeah. what to see some is you go you you go above and beyond yeah. expectations yeah. so the lord is gonna bless us with this type of joy that we thinking about a joy yeah. but the joy that we're gonna have is gonna exceed bro even what we think exactly mm -hmm. so it says in the nlt first yeah. peter 4 13 instead be very glad for these trials yeah be very glad for it because right but it did not the book of romans I believe the fifth chapter, I know it talks about patience at the top, but I'm not sure if that's the same one that talk about, uh, yeah, uh, exercise uh, of hope. And yeah, that, yeah. well, yeah, Romans, the fifth chapter at the top, they talk about like pretty much letting patience have her perfect work, if I'm right. not mistaken, mm -hmm. you know, and a part of, like you said, be glad in these trials. I don't know, because the scriptures say we rejoice and we glory in tribulation, blessed. man. Right. You know, and these are the things, yeah, like you said, be glad, you know, you got to really count it all joy, like the scriptures say, when you mm -hmm. fall into diverse temptations, that's the book of James. All right, you got it, brother. Yep, it says First Peter four thirteen NLT. Instead, be very glad. Yep. For these trials make you partners with Hamashiach in his suffering. Yeah, because you know what I'm saying you gotta you gotta put yourself not to say in his shoes, but for lack of better terms, you know I'm gonna say that statement because what you you gotta think he you, lost you everything. Yeah, shoes yeah. Because he said you, you go drink the cup. Yeah. When they when they ask about you know. They asked you how was shy about being in the kingdom with him or something like that. He said, "You sure you could drink the cup that yeah. I I got to drink?" Yep. He be said, "You go drink it." Be be right? there, there we go. Yep. So you can you can say that. Yeah. That, you know, walking yeah. in his shoes, man. Because it, it ain't gonna be to that a, a stint, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, at the water. But I'm just thinking about it because you got to think. You know, everything we going through, he suffered greater. You know, so whatever it is, hey man. You know, you got to just be willing to go through that fire, man, in order to get to the other side. It's beautiful, yeah, bro. Yeah, you That's, got it. Let me just say, it says, I'll read it again. 1 Peter 4, 13, NLT. Kay. Instead, be very glad for these trials make you partners with Hamashiach and his sufferings, which I believe that means friends. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can look it up, but. Yeah. It says, so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world so that's what we going through this for right. you know what i'm saying right. to be able to see him and, you know what i'm saying and be joyful when we see him because yeah. two-thirds going back to the to the first precept you brought out zachariah they're not going to be wonderfully they ain't going to have wonderful joy when no. they see his glory no. when it's revealed to all the world when we see oh. it it's going to be you know Get the next verse, Bible the, 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 Since you just said that statement, because I wasn't. NLT. Yeah, well, you could get I'm, them both. Yeah, you got it. All right, all right. It says, uh, verse 14, 1 Peter 4, 14, mm -hmm. KJV. If ye be reproached for the name of Mashiach, yep, right? which is shame. Yes, yeah, that's, that's right. Suffer shame for his name, right? Yep, it says, happy are ye. Yep. For the spirit of glory and of Yahweh Barashim and our Shai resteth upon mm -hmm. you. Yep. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Just for that statement, because you said two-thirds ain't going to rejoice at the coming no. of our Lord, man. No. They're going to be shamefaced. Yeah. You know, they're going to they gonna be afraid, terrified. You know what I'm saying? While the, hope, while the hopeful elect going to be rejoicing. But what do it say in the, the NLT? NLT yeah. 1 Peter 4, 14. So be happy huh. when you are insulted for being a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Call lawyer. Call lawyer for right. sure. It said, for then the glorious spirit of Yahweh Bashir Yahweh Shai rests upon you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, bro. That's it, man. Yeah, man. So is that it? Yup, yup. You know, so with that, man, we pray this was an edifying lesson. We want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakadash. Double honesty, Apostle Elsa, Great Millstone, Will Well, Shalom, Wachasala, Bakayar. Wachasala, Bakayar. Wachasala, Bakayar.